Shalom. This week's Sejra is Sejra's Truma. We learn a fascinating lesson in this week's Torah portion. There is a principle of halacha that applies to all areas of life and says that anyone who adds, subtracts. Now, the lesson sounds counterintuitive, but it actually makes sense when thought about, especially when it comes to observing halacha. The Talmud quoted Chizkiah and a question that he asked. He says, from where in the Torah do we know that anyone who adds, subtracts? And the Talmud offered the answer from Adam and Eve. Eve said, God said, you shall not eat of it, meaning the tree, neither shall you touch it. But God had actually only prohibited eating from the tree, not touching it. Because Eve added that there was a prohibition against touching the tree, the snake showed her that touching it doesn't cause her to die. And she consequently sinned by eating from it as well. The Talmud quotes two other sources, both from this week's Torah portion. A verse in this week's Torah portion about building the ark commanded the following, they shall make an ark of Achaia wood, two and a half cubits long, a cubit and a half wide, and a cubit and a half high. Rav Mesharshia taught that without the letter Aleph at the beginning of the word Amatayim, which means two cubits, it would, be, it would be read Matayim, which would mean 200 cubits. The addition of the letter Aleph reduces and subtracts the amount to only two cubits. Another lesson is immediately following that teaching, the Talmud quoted a teaching from Rav Ashi, which also comes from this week's Torah portion. And Rav Ashi taught the verse, You shall then make cloths of goat hair for a tent over the tabernacle. Make the cloths eleven in number. Now, without the letter ayin at the beginning of the phrase, it would read shteasar, twelve cloths. The additional letter ayin reduces the amount from twelve to eleven. Whoever adds, subtracts. Recently, I saw a death notice posted for a friend's father who I didn't know personally. But something in the death notice caught my eye. The deceased was described as a daikon in halacha. I had never heard that compliment before, but I was floored by the description of their father. Daikon in halacha is someone who is careful to follow the laws found in halacha. Being careful to fulfill the laws of halacha might seem an obvious characterization of any religious Jew, but the phrase compliments the person as not being lackadaisical about their observance of halacha and at the other extreme, also not being unnecessarily strict in their practice of halacha either. A chumrah, a stringency, isn't an act of religious fervor, but a result of carefully studying a topic in halacha. Upon studying the topic, it becomes clear that there are different opinions among Torah scholars on how to practice the halacha in this case, and seeing that the common practice is to follow the lenient opinion. The stringent opinion, while not followed, could make the most sense to this person studying. So they accept upon themselves to follow that opinion, not as halacha, but as a stringency. A stringency practiced out of religious fervor, on the other hand, instead of careful study, runs the risk of violating whoever adds, subtracts. This phenomenon vastly differs from being careful about halacha. It's a fascinating lesson, just in the measurements of the tabernacle, that sometimes our religious fervor can cause us to add, but that adding actually subtracts. Shabbat Shalom.